have you ever imagined living in a world without electricity? Or have you wondered how your life would be without your cell phone and internet connection? I agree. It will be very hard. Well, thanks to those who researched on how electricity will be used in our daily lives. And to those who discovered and worked on our cell phones and internet. And to those mind who always ask and seek for information, knowledge, and proof, we owe it to them. Magandang umaga, Valenzuelanos! Welcome to Practical Research 1 Valenzuela Facebook Live. Today, join our virtual class and let us discover together why seeking for truth and learning research is essential. May I ask you, what did you feel when you saw Practical Research 1 on the list of your subject this semester? Are you this excited? Or are you this shocked? Or maybe mixed emotions? Generally, students find it difficult to study and do research. But with a positive mindset and proper guidance from your teachers, we may and we can appreciate learning and doing research together. To start with, let us have a short activity entitled, Thumbs Up or Thumbs Down. Here is the instruction. Type, type the word up on the comment section below if you think the situation exhibits research and down if it does not. I will give you 5 seconds to type your answer. Let's begin. Number 1. Rika, a grade 12 student, is a first-time voter. She wanted to vote for the presidential candidate who has a clear plan on how to address the issue about unemployment and underemployment of the country. So, she read several articles about each presidential candidate and watched presidential interviews online. Now, does this situation exhibit research? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Type your answer now. Right. The answer is up. The situation exhibits research because Rika gathered information or data to answer her question in mind regarding on who to vote for for the coming election. Number two. Randy is a student athlete. He drinks 10 to 12 glasses of water every day and fruit juices to stay hydrated. He eats healthy foods too. He sleeps 8 to 10 hours every night and rides a bike every weekend. Does this situation exhibits research? Up or down? Type your answer now. Good. The answer is down. Randy's daily routine is just an information about what he does as a student athlete. It does not exhibit research. Number three. Paula wants to give her mother the best gift for her birthday. So Paula asked different mothers of her neighborhood about the best gift they received on their birthdays to help her decide. Does this situation exhibit research? Up or down? Type your answer now. Correct! The answer is up. Paula asking several mothers to know what best gift to give on her birthday exhibits research. Number four, Charlotte is an artist. She is currently working, working on a portrait. She is confused on what painting styles and techniques suits the portrait she's working on. So, she spends plenty of time watching art videos on YouTube and visit museum from time to time to help her finish her painting. Does this situation exhibit research? Up or down? Type your answer now. Right. The answer is up. Charlotte's act of watching art videos and visiting museum to discover different painting styles and techniques that will suit her project exhibit research. 5. Keisha loves K-dramas very much. He has a checklist of K-dramas to watch. She watches 1-3 to three episodes a day. She works hard by selling branded bags online to save money because she wanted to go to Korea with her friends someday. Does this situation exhibits research? Up or down? Type your answer now. Correct! 
Correct. The answer is down. The situation does not exhibit research, but Kisha's passion for K-dramas. Good job, everyone. While answering your, our activity a while ago, you may ask, Ganon kadali? Research na ba yun? Well, in Rika, Paula, and Charlotte's situation, where they are confronted with questions or problems, and they turn to seek what could be possible answers and solutions to it, they actually embarked on the process called research. So first things first, let us define research. One definition of research is provided by John W. Creswell. He states that research is a process of steps used to collect and analyze information to increase our understanding of topic or issue. This definition states that a research is a systematic way to find a solution of a problem and that solution will help in adding to the available knowledge. This step-by-step -step approach requires formulation of a problem, collect collecting data to solve that problem, and analyzing data to reach the conclusion about that problem. Another, according to Walker 2010, Research is a systematic investigation and study of materials and sources to establish facts and reach new conclusions. Meaning, research is an act of studying something carefully and extensively in order to attain deep knowledge. Now, what research is not? Number one, research is not just searching in Google. Let me remind you that research is an act of studying something carefully and extensively and not just searching something out of existing facts or information. Number two, research is not a copy-pasting process. Remember that research is a step-by-step -step process that starts with posting a problem, collecting data and analyzing it to arrive to the solution of the problem. Also, in doing research, we can't just copy and paste others' work. There are also ethics in doing it. Your knowledge of research is very important because it will help you in having a detailed perception and analysis of our course. Now, let me ask you again. Bakit tayo nagre research There are many good answers on why should we study and do research. One good reason is because of our curiosity. Dahil ang totoo, madami tayong gustong malaman. But, if your answer is, nag-research kami kasi kailangan ng senior high school, that is also true. Research subject like Practical Research 1 is a course requirement, requirement in your senior high school years. But wait, there's more. You will also encounter subjects like Practical Research 2 and III in your grade 12. So let us have an overview on what is in store for us in Practical Research 1. Like what I have mentioned, Practical Research is one of the required subjects in senior high school, regardless of the academic strand you are in. This subject aims to develop your critical thinking, and problem-solving skills through qualitative research. You probably know that at the end of this course, you will be required to submit your research output. But don't worry about your research output. We will learn everything about conducting a qualitative research step-by-step. -step. Your live streaming teachers and Practical Research 1 teachers will guide you all throughout the process. Here are some of the most essential competencies we have to develop throughout this subject. One, describes characteristics, process, and ethics of research. Two, differentiate qualitative or quantity from quantitative research. Three, write a research title. Four, write coherent review of literature. Five, chooses appropriate qualitative research design. Six, presents written research methodology. And seven, List references. Before I end, allow me to share with you a funny post intended for entertainment purposes only that I have read in Ultima Reviewer Facebook page. Here it is. The Parts of Research Paper. The Introduction. The Background of the Study. The Definition of Terms. 
the research instrument. The statement of the problem. The research design. The review of re related literature and the research questionnaire. The conclusion. And the reference. Again, this post is intended for entertainment purposes only. Hope it made you smile. I hope you enjoyed our session today. I will leave you with a quote from David Sarnoff. Research is the distance between an idea and its realization. I am Ginang from our Kongba the National High School, your live streaming teacher for Practical Research 1. Good day and goodbye. Hanggang sa susunod na pagkikita.